Okay, there's a uh, computer power supply. It's a switching power supply. Took it out of an old computer. It's 300 watts. Here you can see all the different colored wires coming out. I'm going to tell you what these are. The reds, I just cut off. I cut the connectors off of all the wires. And uh, you don't have to worry about it. Just go ahead and cut them off. And these reds here, that's a 5.5 volts. I think that's what that is. And uh, the blacks, all the blacks come from the same place. They're negative. And there were some that were a little smaller, so I just put them together right there. But they're still negative. And the orange is 3.3. .3, and the yellow is 12. And you've got these others here. Various colors, purple, blue, gray, brown, green. The green one is the one that's going to turn it on if you connect it to the black. So I've got a little clip lead here. I'm going to clip it on. And now the power supply is on. Also, uh, power supply doesn't stay on unless it sees a little bit of load on the output. So I have one of these 12-volt uh, wires here connected to a taillight lamp. So it'll keep the power supply on. And here I have a shunt. And this is how I measure the current. There's actually a voltage drop from here to here uh, rated in millivolts. In this case, this one drops 50 millivolts across here at its rated load of 30 amps. And my, my meter's here. There's a 5 volt meter there. And there's the ammeter. 25 amp. Well, I had to take that 30 amp shunt and thin it down a little bit with that notch so that it'll read correctly on a 25 amp meter. So I'm actually measuring a millivolt drop across here. That's these wires here. And you can do the same thing if you get yourself a, a digital meter and get a shunt and just hook your digital meter on there and read millivolts. A tip here is if you get a 50 amp shunt at 50 millivolts it'll be an amp per millivolt so it'll be really easy to read just put on your millivolt scale one amp one millivolt 50 amps 50 millivolts I'm using a, uh, a resistor I wound out of nichrome wire and you can see I'm just kinda clipped on I just wound it up I'm clipped on here you can see I've got about 12 amps which is the rated load of the uh, 5 volt output. You can see that if I just make it longer and clip it on over here and you know got a lot less amperage there so go up here there's the 12 amps okay and I've got the, uh, the oscilloscope on here the oscilloscope is looking at the output and you can see that it's uh, completely pure there's no spikes. Uh, the filtering on it is sufficient where it's good clean output. So this would make a really good uh, chlorate power supply. Maybe not perchlorate, but chlorate for sure. You get good uh, 5 volts at uh, 12 amps. And uh, you can leave this on kind of indefinitely. It's a protected power supply. It's got a little fan blowing out the back here. And uh, I was able to get this for nothing. You find the computers in the trash, you take them apart, get that computer power supply out. Hopefully it's like a 250-300. And uh, you got yourself a chlorate power supply. If you have any questions, put it in the comments.